Hey guys, Fox here. Got some uh, game guts here I want to show you guys and a little update here at the end of the video. But uh, hope everyone's staying safe during this whole uh, health crisis. And uh, hope everybody's being smart as well. Uh, but anyways, um, I've picked up quite a few things uh, online and pre-orders came in and stuff like that. Uh, so... You know, I get the bug because I'm stuck at home, so I end up sitting on eBay and various other sites trying to find some stuff to add to my collection for a real good price. Uh, but I got a few things to add to the collection here, so let's start off with some uh, Game Boy stuff. First thing I got was the uh, yellow Game Boy Pocket uh, in the box. Uh, the box is in mm fair condition you can see that this part's taped because it came apart here uh but overall it's not crushed um except for part of the lid there uh but it, it's not bad i got it for a pretty decent price um i already had a yellow game boy pocket uh but the and that one that i did have is a little better condition than the one that came in here uh the only thing that this is really missing is the uh, inserts so if I find some uh, Game Boy Pocket inserts, I'd love to put these in here. Um, whenever I can get the chance to go to some uh, retro video game stores, I'll be sure to look for some. Another interesting find, which I'm really happy to get, is another Game Boy Pocket. And it's from the original release, when it came in this hard uh, plastic uh, carry case um, that you could use as a carry case as well. Um, and this Game Boy Pocket is pretty unique because the, the bezel is also like a, sh a shiny silver uh, along with the system. Um, it works great. Um, these cases remind me of the uh, original Game Boy Play It Loud series uh, games. Um, so let me see if I can open it one hand here. There we go. So it just came with like a faux piece of paper here. And you can store games in here, uh, batteries, and some other stuff in there. Um, so it didn't have any of the inserts with it, but the case is in perfect condition. And the front paper insert was in great condition as well, along with the Game Boy itself. So this was a very awesome pickup. Uh, the, I'll, this will definitely be some uh, shelf candy. Another Game Boy item I added to the collection is the rechargeable battery pack uh, slash AC adapter for the Game Boy. Um, this is pretty cool. I never had one of these as a kid. My parents probably should have gotten me one of these with how many batteries I burned through. Oh, you're getting a sneak peek at my other stuff. Let me turn here. <laughs> uh, so this is cool. Um, Granted, this battery pro will no longer hold a charge. Not that I've tried, because I really doubt it will, but I'll just use it for the AC adapter ability. That's even if I do that, because we've got uh, lithium ion double A's now, so those work great. But uh, this I can add to my Game Boy accessory collection. All right, get on to these loose Game Boy games here. I got uh, WWF King of the Ring. Uh, Brett the Hitman Hart on the cover. We've got Mickey's Dangerous Chase. Wave Race. It's actually not a terrible game on the Game Boy. Um, something I just kind of randomly found, but it was really cheap. Um, and that's a uh, copy of Link's Awakening, the uh, Japanese version. I like the cover art on this one. It's a lot of fun. Um, we've got the chess master. I enjoy this. You know, if you like chess, it's a pretty good game. Um, I also had a copy of the manual for it. I've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Fall of the Foot Clan. I think I'm only missing one more Turtles game, main Turtles game for the Game Boy. I've got the uh, the sewers one. I got this one, and there's one more, but I think it's fairly rare and kind of pricey. But I, I do have the manual for this. Now I got some Game Gear games to throw in the collection here. I've got uh, 
U.S. Gold presents Winter Olympic Games. Um, this is Lilyhammer, 94. I don't remember those Winter Games when I was a kid, but uh, just adding that one to the collection. Here's one that's actually a little fun, and that's uh, Deep Duck Trouble, starring Donald Duck. Yeah, X-Men Mojo World. And another entry in the Poker Face Pauls series here. I have Blackjack. I think I'm only missing one of the Poker Face Pauls games now. <laughs> All right, we got some more retro stuff here. Um, something that my uh, dad sent me in the mail because he found it. And I was actually kind of happy to have this. Uh, John Madden Football 92. Well, let me tell you, this this is pretty cool. Um, you know, not a rare game or anything like that, but uh, this was a real turning point for the uh, uh, football games. Um, and this sucker has a huge manual in it. I'll tell you what. Um, for a real good price on eBay, I just made a random offer because they had the make an offer option open. And the guy accepted it, and I was really happy, because this is an important game, especially for my childhood, and that's Kirby's Adventure here. Um, complete in the box, you know, he, real steal. I think he, I threw an offer, because I was just, sometimes I throw some small offers out there. I'm not trying to insult anybody, but sometimes people want to just move it. I offered 15 bucks, and he's like, yep, you can have it. I was <laughs> like, sweet. So, very excited. Uh, this is... A very fun and important game for me. And another kind of cheapy here. We got Back to the Future. Not known for being a great game, but I don't think it's that bad. And plus, I'm a huge Back to the Future fan. Um, I need to get a copy of the uh, Back to Future 2 and 3 on the NES. I do not have that one. But excited to have this. All right, let's get some PS4 stuff done here. Um, so, interesting thing here. So, pull both of these out. So, I've got both of the Persona dancing games that they released on the PS4. We got five, uh, Dancing in Starlight, and three, Dancing in Moonlight. I know they came out as a set, but I never got them back then because I was like, I'm not going to have time to play these. Um, so... GameStop had a really big deal. They were selling these for $15 a piece brand new. And as you can see, these are definitely not brand new. They are not sealed. Um, this one has the actual correct game in it. This one does not. We've got a copy of Mud Runner in here. And let me tell you something. It's a pain in the ass to get a hold of GameStop to try to get this corrected. I don't care what they do. I, you know, I want to get a hold of them. Just send me the freaking disc. <laughs> I'll be okay with that. I don't care that they're not new. I'll deal with it. 15 bucks a game is not that bad, especially for these. Um, but I did, did kind of want to add these to the collection. So at least I got Persona 5 dancing. Um... Hopefully, I will get the proper disc for this one. But what can I say? That stuff kind of happens when you order blind, blindly from GameStop. Um, I got a limited run game in, and that's Costume Quest 2. Um, really happy to have this. I really wish they would have released the first Costume Quest, because I actually kind of like that one a little bit better than this one. Uh, but I think these are great little RPG games to play during the Halloween season. They're, they're a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, Double Fine made these. Um, so I'm excited to have this. I'm, I'm hoping maybe that they'll release the first one as well. Last PS4 game is Final Fantasy VII Remake. This is Deluxe Edition. Um... I've already played and beaten this game. Um, I have given it uh, personally a positive review. I've had some issues uh, with the ending, um, but uh, uh, as I sit on it and think more about it, and you know, and uh, let it stew in my brain, if you will, um, I've accepted for 
it for what it is. Um, and I think I'm excited to see where it goes. So uh, I, I would recommend it. It's definitely a lot of fun. Probably one of the better action RPGs I've played. So that's a lot to say. <laughs> um, and for questions in here, this just got the game and a, as you can see on the back, a steel book and a little mini soundtrack, which is pretty good. It's got all the main good games on there and a little um, art book. Okay, let's move on. I got some stuff here. I got one Vita game, and that's uh, Trails of Cold Steel 2. Uh, this is the only Trails of game, that, uh, Cold Steel game that I'm missing was this one for the Vita. I think I have every one that was available. Uh, Trails of Cold Steel 3 for the Switch comes out later this month, and I have that on pre-order. And 4 comes out this fall, I think in October time frame. I'm really excited for 4. Um, uh, Bubbling had a video where he was talking about some uh, rare, hard to find games. I forgot, but anyways, he, he showed off some of the Legend of Heroes games on the PSP. And I went into my collection and I was thinking, oh man, I waited too long to pick up the other ones. Because I had one complete and I had a uh, disc-only copy of the second game. So I went ahead and tried to find some stuff that I wanted for at least a decent price. Because these games go for well over 100 bucks a piece now. Um, I was lucky to find Legend of Heroes 3 Song of the Ocean here. No manual, granted, but uh, at least I got the case and the game. Um, I got this for a pretty reasonable deal. Um, I think I paid 75 bucks for it. So uh, it's a lot for a PSP game, but I wanted to complete my Legend of Heroes collection. So I finally have a copy of this. I gambled on Amazon, unfortunately, from a, uh, you know, secondhand dealer who's um, description said it was complete. <laughs> complete means, you know, artwork, manual, game, right? That's what you would think. Well, uh, this is what I got. So Legend of Heroes, disc only. So now I have two copies of Legend of Heroes disc only. So that's unfortunate. So I guess this will go on my trade pile because since I already have one, but you know, sometimes you lose on those gambles. Got a few Switch games here. Um, one that I was waiting for a while. This is Gorogoa. I think that's how you pronounce it. This is a cool little puzzle, um, artsy game. I have not played it yet, so don't. Make it. I just was watching videos of the gameplay and was very interested in it. And uh, who sold this? I think it was Fan Gamer. Oh, I am a bit uh, sold physical copy of this. So I was really happy. I actually might pop this in my Switch soon. One of those side games I'm playing along with uh, Animal Crossing. Um, from Super Rare Games, I got a copy of the Dark Side Detective. Um, this looks like a pretty cool sprite-based uh, uh, point-and-click adventure, old-school style. Um, and I hear it's pretty funny, so this looks like uh, it'll be a lot of fun. Last Switch game I got here is Trails of Mana. Oh! I think this is going to be fun. I never played them. I, I know I have the original on the collection of Mana series, but uh, this remake looks like it'll be a lot of fun. I think they did a pretty good job with the artwork. Um, and I, from what I hear, they've improved the AI and problems with the battle system from the original. So um, this would be a good short game to play. Semi-short. Lastly... Um, from GameStop, part of that order that I was complaining about earlier was an exclusive they had that I wanted to add to my collection, and that's uh, the Fox Pop from Persona 5, which I really honestly didn't know they had until I was just perusing their site during the sale and saw this. So I definitely want to add it up there. I don't know if you can see them there, way up there. Yeah. So I can add them to the little Persona 5 Pops. Eh, silly, but I really like this game, so I'm excited to have it for the collection. All right, guys. Well, there's all the game gots for uh, this month. So uh, 
thanks for watching. And uh, also, I said that I was going to announce something. I'm working on another video. It's going to take me a while to put it together. But uh, a video I made about, I don't know how long was that, like five years ago? Something like that. Anyways, I put a top uh, 50 RPGs, um, my personal top 50. Well, I'm working on another uh, top RPG video because I kind of want to update it because I've played a lot of great RPGs since then. And I'm going to make it a little smaller to make the video a little shorter because I think that last video was close to an hour long. So I'm going for like 20 minutes this time. So I think I'm going to do a top 20 RPG video. So yeah, I'll be uh, working on that for the next month. So <laughs> I'm pretty slow at uh, releasing these videos. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching.